Good morning, Northwest. My name is Nicole, and I'd like to welcome you to Titan Connect. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand on your heart and your left hand down by your side and say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for Jessica Jack. <laughs> you may now be seated. And now for sports announcements. This is just a reminder that eighth grade basketball cheerleading tryouts will be today, January 3rd, Thursday, tomorrow, January 5th, Friday, January 6th, and the time will be after the last bus is called until 5.30. Make sure you're in the multi-purpose room in the sixth grade building. Please make sure all information is up to date in Dragonfly. And now for Positivity Project. This week's Positivity Project character strength is optimism. The character strength of optimism means that you expect the best from the future and work to achieve it. What does it look like? Optimism represents a state of hopefulness and confidence about the future, both long term and short term. Optimistic people are planners and goal setters. They are enjoyable to be around and often seen as hard working, consci I don't know how to say that. Conscientious. Okay. And able to overcome obstacles. Remember, a person can be optimistic every single day. As you go through your day, be sure to look for opportunities where you can demonstrate the character strength of optimism. And now for Shyla Ray and Mike Van Hoy for breakfast and lunch. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning. Tomorrow's breakfast is pancake nuts or apple strudels. And then. Oh, you're all the way. <laughs> Um, and then today's lunch is going to be oven fried chicken and cheese dippers, which are mozzarella sticks, on the main line. And then on the grab and go uh, uh, is going to be pepperoni pizza or cheese pizza. And now for Ms. Sabo. Good morning, Titan family, and happy 2024. We are so excited that you are back, and I know that you are just as excited to be back as well. Saw a lot of smiling faces, saw some head shaking going on, but guess what? We are halfway done with the school year. So remember, we started school early this year, which means we've already completed the first semester when typically when we come back from the holiday break, we still have three weeks left. So you are three weeks ahead of the game because we do wrap up the school year in May this year instead of June. So congratulations on being halfway done. What does that mean for you? That means for you today is a fresh start, new year, new you. Fresh start for everybody. Your grades, everyone's at 100% in all of your classes. Attendance is at 100% for second semester. Behavior is at 100%. So everyone's got a clean, fresh start. So if you did not have the grades you wanted to last semester, if you didn't have the behavior you needed to have last semester, that's okay. Moving forward, we all got a fresh start starting today. So congratulations on that. We will be getting together with all of the core teams tomorrow to do our little refresher to kind of review the expectations so everyone knows what to expect moving forward into second semester. So you'll be having an opportunity to meet with your grade level administrator for about 15 to 20 minutes tomorrow and then to ask any questions that you may have going into the last half of the school year. Another announcement is today in homeroom you will be receiving a copy of your second semester schedule. That way you know exactly where to go for Encore classes. Majority of you are getting new Encore classes today. The only exception would be if you are in band, which is a year-long class, or if you're in Spanish 1 as an eighth grader, which is a year-long class. Everyone else is getting brand new Encore classes. Also, our health and PE courses are changing so we, this year remember you have one quarter of health three quarters of PE but it does kind of rotate a little bit so in case you're confused if you had coach Hess last quarter for PE you will be going to Mr. Hilton now in the main gym for PE 
If you had Miss Gardner, you will stay with Miss Gardner in the main gym. If you had Miss Lynn's second quarter for health, you will now be reporting to Coach Hess for PE in the auxiliary gym. And if you had Coach Hilton last quarter, you will be reporting to health with Miss Lynn's in the health room located right on the other side of the cafeteria towards the eighth grade hallway. All right, well, that's it for me. I'm now going to turn it over to Mr. Egnot. Y'all have a great day. Good morning, Northwest, and happy 2024. Um, so a lot of the stuff that Ms. Abo um, just talked about is, um, is extremely important for all of us. We know that you know what brings a new year is a new start. Now always take a look at it is what can I be doing better um, as an individual um, here at Northwest, here in Cabarrus County, um, that is going to make a difference. So I want you guys to really think about that is how am I going to make my 2024 a special year? Um, so I know a lot of things happen. We go through our life changes. Uh, we go through school. We got family things going on. Um, so always just be respectful of that and um, respectful to each other. And let's see how we can make 2024 the best year here at Northwest. So with that being said, we're going to be respectful, be safe, and be responsible out there, guys. Happy 2024.